Hey, it's Aaron the Ho, and today we're going to do the full review for the dog and bone wet suitcase for the iPhone 5 and the 5S. I'm a dog? And you like bones, I know. I'm a dog. Fine, here's a bone. Mmm, pastry bone. Now based on our time with the case, we give it a score of 4.00 A's out of 5. It's a pretty decent case. It will definitely protect your case more than your average uh, life-proof and otter box case. The design is incredibly unique, but it suffers a bit in terms of accessing your iPhone inside the case. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, a dot ca. So before we actually do any of our reviews, we do spend quite a bit of time with this case. So we've unboxed it, we've installed it, you know, the normal things. But we've also taken a closer look at the features to see what makes this case special. We've dropped it, we've put it in a tank of water by, well, trying to drown it basically. And then we tried to do a dust test with this case. We then take that entire experience and then we mash it through our A rating system to get you the 4.00 A's out of 5. And I do have to give props to Brando12343 uh, who posted on our Google Plus page saying that we should review this case. So what are some of the good things about this case? This is a tougher case than most of your other waterproof, shockproof iPhone cases. It's uniquely designed. What Dog and Bone has done with this case is pretty awesome. There is no screen protector, so it's kind of like the life-proof nude. It, you can, well, according to Dog and Bone, you can go topless with this case rather than going nude. As well as getting to your iPhone buttons um, is actually really easy through this uh, case, especially the mute ringer switch. It's a little different. What are some of the bad things about this case? It's going to be a little more difficult to get to the edges of your iPhone because of the high edges. The sound coming from the iPhone isn't muted or anything. Actually, I think it sounds a little louder, but it sounds a little off. Also, there is a piece that you can actually lose quite easily on this case. So we're going to take the next few minutes and I'm going to highlight some of the bigger features in terms of design protection and functionality. After that, we're going to let Monty do his review of Dog and Bone, of the Dog and Bone wetsuit. If you do need more information about this case, check out the full review table that we've done for the Dog and Bone wetsuit on our website. Um, I show you every single score that we've given this case. Um, we break our scoring system into nine different scores. So if you need details, I recommend that you check that out. In terms of weight and bulk, the wetsuit is pretty thick, especially when compared to the free, and it's only slightly, just slightly thinner than the preserver. Installing the case is different as there's a couple pieces to snap together and you literally have to dress your iPhone into the wetsuit or the boot. For protection, I say this case is better than your standard lifeproof and otter box case because there's two layers. You have the outer housing, which is made of engineering grade plastic, and you've got the silicone boot. So for drop protection, even if the front and back housing of the wetsuit came off during a drop, the silicone boot is still going to provide a bit of protection. From my guess, if you were to drop it and everything came out, it is definitely going to save your iPhone screen from being shattered. In terms of water protection, this case is better, basically for the same reason, because of the boot. Now some of our viewers, such as Creepy Couple Pasta, voiced their concerns about the lack of O-rings on this case during our unbox and install and feature videos, mostly because it didn't have any O-rings, but I'm you guys don't have to worry about that because this implementation of waterproofing is much better than cases with actual o-rings let me explain the silicone rubber boot is basically the seal and the seal covers the entire iphone so if a piece of dust was to get into the wetsuit between your iphone and that uh, silicone boot there's a good chance that the boot would actually form a waterproof seal around it compared to say another case like the lifeproof nude which has one o-ring um, on the front of the case the moment that something sits on that o-ring water is going to get around that and seep into the case body i think the chances of that happening with the wetsuit is much lower now to put our theory to test, we did drop a uh, dog and bone wetsuit into a tub of flour and shook it around to see uh, how much flour gets into the, into the actual cavity of the wetsuit and from what we can tell, none. Dog and Bone does include a screen protector for you to install. If you want to know a little bit more information, we're not going to cover that here, but do check out the uh, review blog. All right, in terms of functionality, this is where the dog and bone wetsuit kind of suffers, especially in the sound department and the uh, screen usability department. The edges of the case are quite high, so it gets a little difficult to access the edges of your iPhone. For example, trying to use the uh, alphabetized, you know, quick menu on your contacts app takes a bit more effort, and it's the same with getting to the control panel at the bottom of your iPhone screen. I've grown very attached to using those swipe menus, and so not being able to get to them is a little annoying to me. In terms of sound, the wetsuit doesn't mute any sound, but it does add an echo popping noise that is pretty typical of your waterproof iPhone case. Now you can kind of minimize that by reducing the volume on your iPhone, but it's still kind of there. In terms of getting to your hardware jacks, it's waterproof because uh, Dog and Moon basically put plugs into it. But the bad thing about these plugs is that they are completely removable, which means there is a chance that you might lose that piece. 
On top of that, there wasn't actually a spare piece inside the packaging, so you kind of have to be careful with it. The only time that you would actually have the piece completely removed is if you're charging your phone and listening to uh, music at the same time. The Touch ID generally works, though the edge of the case, some might find that a little you know, awkward to get used to, but you do get used to it. And again, accessing your hardware buttons are pretty easy, actually incredibly easy. The mute switch is a little different and we've gone into great detail for that in our features video. So if that's interesting to you, check that out. So with all that being said, what do you guys think? I think this is a pretty decent case. And um, if we were to apply the score that I'm developing for the iPhone 6, this case would actually score better than the LifeProof and OtterBox cases only because it does offer better protection. I know some of you guys are pretty hopeful about this case. I know Albert Chang was wondering about the uh, plastic thing here and I'm pushing on this clear window pretty hard and it's not coming out. So it's glued in there pretty good. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. We put out content two to three times a week, if not more, and we kind of focus on product reviews, tips and tricks, as well as relevant news. So, you know, click subscribe, you won't be bored. So Monty, what do you think about the dog and bone wetsuit? I believe that Dog and Bone, all their products are going to be superior because dogs are just better than otters. What? So if you have any questions for me, um, Monty doesn't take any questions, I'm sorry. Um, do leave them in the comments section below or find us on Facebook as well as Google Plus and Twitter. Uh, we do have Instagram and we're kind of working on a Tumblr, uh, so do check those things out. They are in the description section below. Thank you for watching.